Meghan and Harry's parenting style is approached by Princess Eugenie to learn. And the royal and her husband Jack Brooksbank will soon be welcoming a second child. Princess Eugenie is known for her philanthropic efforts. And she recently revealed that she will encourage her children to follow in her footsteps and make a positive impact in the world. And the royal became a mother for the first time in February 2021, welcoming a baby boy called August with her husband Jack Brooksbank. Later this year, the couple would have a new addition in their family after sharing the news of Eugenie's pregnancy with the world last month. It seems the couple's approach to parenting almost mimics Eugenie's cousin, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan. The couple, who reside in California, are parents to Archie Harrison, 3, and Lilibet Diana. And they often share snippets into their down-to-earth and relatable approach to parenting. Since becoming a mother, Princess Eugenie has been navigating the joys and challenges of parenting. Balancing her role as a member of the royal family with the demands of motherhood. She recently revealed that the arrival of August prompted her to change her behavior. At home in order to educate her son on the importance of protecting the environment. Speaking at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Eugenie said, My son's going to be an activist from two years old. Which is in a couple of days. So, he, everything is for them. I talked to Peter Thompson, the UN Special Envoy for Oceans and all he says to me is that I do this for my grandchildren. And that's the same. Every decision we now make has to be for August, what he's going to be able to look at and do and how he's going to live his life. But I think also as a mother, you all of a sudden, totally you change, your hormones change, everything changes. Like now I'm scared of flying and things like that and I would never be before. Elsewhere. Prince Harry is known for his environmentalism. And previously confessed how fatherhood has changed his outlook and why it's important to take care of the earth. The moment you become a father everything really does change because then you start to realize, well, what is the point in bringing a new person into this world when they get to your age and it's on fire? Harry said in a video for Water Bear Network. We can't steal their future. We really can't. That's not the job we're here for, he continued. I've always believed that hopefully we can leave the world in a better place than when we found it. Eugenie and Jack, meanwhile, have lived in Frogmore Cottage on the Queen's Windsor estate. The home was formerly made up of five separate properties for those working on the estate. But it was converted into one five-bedroom home in 2019 before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved in. The couple allowed Eugenie and her family to use their UK base while they are living in Montecito, California. The early days of August's life was spent in Windsor, just like Archie before Harry and Meghan relocated to California. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent millions renovating their former home, Frogmore Cottage. And part of their work included installing a 50,000 pound green energy unit, which provided them with heat, hot water and electricity. Although royal fans were particularly delighted after the princess brought her son August. To enjoy the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last year, Eugenie is never spotted in public with her son. Instead, and the royal mum tends to share a handful of photos of August, and tends to keep his face hidden on Instagram. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan rarely share photographs of their day-to-day -day life. However, in their Netflix docuseries, the couple released a handful of rare snaps with their children, indicating that the Sussexes spend much of their time walking their dogs at the beach or cycling around the local area. Rupert Everett is challenging a claim made by Prince Harry in his memoir, Spare. The Duke of Sussex's book, released worldwide on the 10th of January, was full of personal revelations including the story of how he lost his virginity. Though Harry wrote that he lost his virginity in a grassy field behind a busy pub around 2001. Everett alleged in a new interview with The Telegraph that things happened differently. According to the British newspaper, the 63-year-old actor gave the interview on the same day that Spear was published. When the bombshell book came up in conversation, the star of My Best Friend's Wedding countered Prince Harry's story. By the way, I know who the woman he lost his virginity to is. And it wasn't behind a pub. And it wasn't in this country, Everett said with a twinkle in his eye, The Telegraph reported. I'm just putting it out there that I know. A source close to Prince Harry told the outlet, amazing that he would know such a personal detail better than Prince Harry himself. In a much discussed passage, 
the Duke of Sussex wrote in spare about losing his virginity. And the royal said that towards the end of 2001 when he was 17, royal aide Mark Dyer came to visit him at Eton. Meeting up for lunch at a cafe in town. Prince Harry said he was surprised when Marco arrived looking grim and said he came to learn the truth. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.